Hey guys, I'm Jessie, and today I'm gonna make a matcha green tea latte. Um, when I've already had coffee in the morning and I want something different, but like I'm feeling low on energy, I'll sometimes make a matcha green tea latte. Green tea is like something that like really boosts me and keep me going throughout the day. So for this recipe, you're going to need some milk, any milk is good. You're gonna need some matcha powder, some green tea, and some, just some sugar. Hey guys, I'm using the Ninja Hot and Cold Brew System today. Um, if you want the specifics of the ingredients shown here, I will put them down in the description below. So I'm starting off with green tea. Um, I just use one tea bag and so I'm just gonna go ahead and place this at the to, um, in my ninja tumbler where the tea goes and then I'm going to reach for my matcha powder I'm really excited to use this one you guys it's brand new and I'm just gonna use one teaspoon of this matcha powder I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right in my cup because I want the green tea, the warm green tea to fall down into the cup and kind of help dissolve that matcha powder. And then obviously when I'm, you know, when it's done brewing, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another stir. Um, so also I'm gonna put some sugar in here just to add some sweetness. So just add that directly right on top of your matcha powder. I just use like one spoonful, I guess about one teaspoon. I cleaned up everything and now I'm going to set my settings. Um, first I'm going to start, make sure that it is set to one cup. Then I'm going to bring it down to a special tea. And then bring your tea knob over to green tea and then just press start. So while I let that green tea brew, I'm going to put my milk in the microwave and warm it up for 45 seconds. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let this green tea brew and let this machine ninja hot and cold brew system do its thing. And once the milk's warm, I'm just taking it out the microwave and transferring it over into my frother cup. So when I froth my milk, I like to hold the cup at the angle um, towards me so I can see what's going on in the cup. Um, and then I keep that frother, like the spinning piece to the frother, keep it slightly up at the top. Um, I noticed that by keeping it at an angle and keeping it close to the top, it makes it really silky and smooth. But then also gives you like some froth, like that light airy froth. Okay, last and final step. Um, I'm just gonna mix the green tea and the matcha powder and the sugar and make sure it's all dissolved. I don't want it to be too chunky because it can be. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my milk. And then that froth that I'm talking about is gonna be up top. Ooh, how pretty. Hey guys, it's so pretty. Um, the matcha green tea latte came out really good. I love how it has like that froth milk up top. It's so pretty. Um, it's just like light. Like I can tell that there's green tea in here. I can tell that there's matcha powder, but it's still, you know, kind of refreshing. Like I wonder what this would do cold. I feel like it would be kind of really good. Try it in a, like an ice beverage. But for something like warm, it's still good. I'm really glad because I just needed some more energy just to get me through the rest of the day. Yeah.